Scorpio, welcome to your reading. This will be a past, present, future with clarifiers. We will pull advice cards at the end from Spirit as well as an Oracle card. Thank you guys so much for being here. I appreciate you. I thank you and thank you to all the new subscribers supporting the channel so that we can eventually do some live readings and take your current questions in real time. Let's get into it. Spirit, angels, guides, ancestors of love and light. We thank you for your help today with Scorpio's reading for whatever they need to know for the highest good. All right. Please keep in mind this is a general reading, so it may not resonate with all of you. Take what resonates and leave the rest for someone else. All right. Let's see what's going on. Spirit moves the cards. They'll let us know when it's time. There it is, it's time. Starting out, King of Pentacles. He is the master uh, manager of things. All of the resources. Followed by the Knight of Wands. Impulsive action, following one's passions about something. And then we have the Five of Swords. This is winning at all costs. Whatever it takes, it takes sacrifice. That's what that card says. There will be sacrifices, and you're willing to make them. In the current energies, we have the King of Cups, the master of his emotions. Uh, staying calm in the midst of the storms. Offering all of his love and a lap of stability and support. Right at the heart of your reading, we have the Wheel of Fortune. Things changing in your favor. We can change the wheel, others can turn the wheel, and so can fate. So we'll see what comes up with the clarifiers there. And we have the Ten of Pentacles. This is everything in your treasure chest of ideal manifestations in your life. It's your legacy, it's your home, your family, your job, your hobbies, your friends, your toys, all of the, the your children, your grandchildren, whatever's important to you to manifest in this life is represented in that card right there. In the immediate future, we have the Queen of Pentacles. She's the nurturing mother of the tarot, but it speaks to putting yourself first. Uh, Self-care. Right there. Followed by the chariot. This is the vehicle to victory. It gets there the fastest. And finally, we have the Empress. The most aligned, wonderful, harmonious, grounded, abundant, sexy, nurturing, and creative energy that there is. The Empress in her feminine power, in all of her creativity and nurturing. All right, and the overall energy of your reading, Scorpio, we have the Nine of Swords. This is stressed out, feeling anxiety, worries, fears. Um, just thought after thought after thought it's possibly keeping you up at night maybe you're shedding some tears but it's a lot of stress right there and what brought us to this reading for whoever whichever Scorpios this is for independence the card of independence uh, doing just fine having all of your resources in abundance on your own the card of being single it's securing security all right, thank you so much. Let's go ahead and start clarifying with this overall energy of the Nine of Swords. Nine of Swords. What does Scorpio need to know about this Nine of Swords and the overall energy? of their reading because everything looks wonderful. I mean, you're focused on your stability, your calmness, nurturing yourself, taking care of yourself, standing in your feminine power, uh, turning things in your favor when it comes to the things you want in life that bring all that stability uh, in your ideal of things you would like to manifest. Um, you will have to make sacrifices, but this on the, on the board, it looks like how do we get there? And the reason we are even here for securing security, independence, abundance, feeling really, really good, feeling really confident on our own and our own stability. 
and yet we have this one card over here of stress and anxiety show us the nine of swords what does Scorpio need to know please nine of swords there it is yeah more stress we have conflict we're conflicted about this we're conflicted about securing security and we're hopeful princess of cups so five of wands princess of cups on the nine of swords and we're right in the middle of this journey we have left an old way of thinking acting being behind and we're heading someplace new someplace uh, better someplace brighter someplace calmer uh, more stable more um, emotionally and intellectually uh, calm and, and sound it's a guided journey and you are surrounded by protection and guidance but man you are stressed out you're hopeful but again six of swords you're right in the middle of it you're not at your destination yet and you're worried you're worried about the future and for some reason you're conflicted here about it there's maybe you're arguing in your own head battling your own thoughts perhaps we always look at the bottom to see the reason for the lineup because this is what's required oh nope I thought it was Queen of Swords it's the Queen of Cups Queen of Cups looked like she was carrying a sword and I didn't look I didn't see the cup she um, comes with her heart wide open the Queen of Cups you are very open to this you have a lot of love for something that it is that you want I think it's your independence but you're conflicted even with all of this hope and love and positive thinking because the princess of cups is mindset it's, a, it's a having a positive mindset while you're on this journey but it's as you can see this is positive mindset the nine of swords is negative mindset it is uh, the conflict you're conflicted in the mind here but not in the heart in the heart it's wide open you want this I feel like maybe you just doubt yourself maybe that's the conflict that you have over here about securing your own security all right I'm sure we will be referred back to this as we're reminded of these energies because they are the overall energies of your entire reading so let's go ahead and move on to the king of pentacles the master of his resources the master manager of all the things managing things at an expert level show us the king of pentacles what does Scorpio need to know please this is in the recent past king of pentacles time out we're trying to get our thoughts clear about this we are not really taking action at this point in time but we're thinking about it can we do it how do we do it what support do we have to do it how stable where, wh what is the stability that we have and the skill what are the skills that we have in order to do it yeah look at that holding on to your stability four of pentacles not letting go But we also have the two of cups here this is a partnership this is a soul connection this is a soul connection here gaining clarity not letting go of a soul connection uh, having trouble letting go holding on too tight to this hmm we'll learn more as the reading continues let's see what other energies come up first we look at the bottom the reason for this little lineup look it's the Queen of Cups again your heart is wide open your heart is wide open you would like a soul connection here to help with this to be on board with you with this hmm perhaps you wish that there was a king of pentacles that would be the soul connection that would take the role of m managing all the 
the resources and the monetary things so you don't have to. Perhaps we're showing up single right now, Nine of Pentacles, but this is perhaps what you would like to gain clarity. Like, is there a person out there that can fulfill this role that would be my soul connection? Because my heart's open to it. I would like that. That would make my life easier. Okay. Moving right along, let's take a look at this Knight of Wands. Knight of Wands wants to take action. Feels the impulse to do something quickly. What is going on with this Knight of Wands, please? Sometimes that can be a good thing. Sometimes it can be to our detriment. Why is the Knight of Wands here in the recent past? There's the card of commitment, the Four of Wands. We want to rush to commitment, perhaps, or we did in the recent past. The vehicle to victory. It's coming up in the future, but here it is back here. Rushing to commit impulsively rushing in to hurry up and commit to hurry up and get to our goals the chariot and we have the empress also coming up here isn't it funny the chariot and the empress came out here together and they come out here together as well the king of pentacles perfect match to the queen also same kind of energy in this row as is right here it's very similar energies Feeling empowered, taking action to move towards a commitment. We think that that brings the stability that we're looking for. It looks like you, you would like somebody else to sort of take the reins to be the, the, the provider, if you will. The one who manages it all. All right, at the bottom, look at that. The Ten of Wands. This is hard. This is sort of a heavy burden for you to feel your best to looks like it, it means rushing into some kind of commitment impulsively so that you can feel your best so that you can feel empowered but it's a heavy burden actually the reason that we're here this is this is hard and maybe it is hard it is, we all would like somebody to take care of everything for us for sure I mean it, it would be hard to put all that responsibility on ourselves to find someone to do that for us if that makes sense that's what this feels like all right let's look at the five of swords please winning at all costs we will have to make sacrifices what are the sacrifices, please? Show us the Five of Swords sacrifices. Five of Swords, what does Scorpio need to know, please? Oh, there it is. And we have the King of Swords. Determination to make the decisions. Masterful decisions. Maybe we sacrifice them when we give them to somebody else. I don't know, let's see what else comes up. Seven of Cups. I mean, Eight of Cups, not Seven. Eight of Cups. This is um, disconnecting from our heart space. The King of Swords does that sometimes. He's very aware of his emotions, but he sort of locks them up so that he can make his decisions just from logic. So, turning your back on your heart. That's a sacrifice to make what you think are the logical decisions to find somebody who will take care of you financially is what it looks like finding the right person to give the reins to, to to manage the stability of things and we have the princess of wands you are highly focused on this this is focused on it like a moth to a flame like addicted to the light like you can't take your focus off of this it's your main quest here hopeful journey stressed conflicted in your mind so that just led me all of this just led me to look back over here and repeat the energies here you're very hopeful to find a, a, a partner to do this a partner who will take care of you a partner who could be stable and take care of all the things. Nothing wrong with it. Nothing wrong with it. No judgment. 
I'm just seeing the energies that are coming up, what's going on here. You would have to disconnect from your heart space a little bit in order to make this decision. That sounds odd. Turning your back on your heart, on things that are not enough, on emotions. This isn't enough for me. I want that. In other words, you're willing to sacrifice some of your heart space here to have some stability here. Okay. At the bottom, the Emperor. The perfect match to the Empress. That's what you want. That's what you're making sacrifices for. Somebody who will be your perfect match. We see her back here too. The, the Empress. So that you will feel really, really good. You're looking for that perfect match. Two of Cups. Soul Connection. You are focused on this. Again, highly focused. This is your main interest. At whoever this reading is for, this is your main interest at this point in time. And you're stressed about it for some reason. I don't know what's causing all the stress here. You obviously know what you want. You want to find that person who can fill that role. So that you can focus on your creations and your nurturing energy and your sexy energy, <laughs> your attractive energy, all the things you want to focus on about yourself. If you don't have to focus on your stability and being single and all that stuff and taking care of everything on your own, then you can focus on what you really want to focus on. This empowering energy, the empress. You just need to find your emperor who consists of somebody who's very stable. All right, let's take a look at the King of Cups. Also stable, stable in their emotions. What does Scorpio need to know? And this is one of your court cards, Scorpio. You are the master of your emotions, in control of your emotions. Show us the King of Cups. Always very calm in the midst of the storm. That's how in control you are. But let's see what the uh, clarifiers say about this King of Cups. What does Scorpio need to know, please? There it is. The Wheel of Fortune, turning things in your favor. The Star, speaking of your favor, these are your divine wishes. Divine wishes granted. Eight of Pentacles. It takes consistent effort, repeated effort uh, to do this. Repeating, re repeating the work that it takes to remain in your calm, balanced emotions in order to, you think if you do this enough, if you work at it enough, if you stay calm, cool, collected, and always offering your love cup, uh, that you'll be able to turn the wheel of fortune in your favor to make your dreams come true through this work, through this effort of calmness and offering your love and always being calm in all the situations. And when, when you show that, you it's hard work it's not easy or the eight of pentacles wouldn't show up but you're showing us that that's your current method to to work on this situation to attract what you want at the bottom the reason we're here look five of swords making the sacrifices doing the work doing the work sometimes this might mean that you don't feel like staying calm this might mean that you want to pull your hair out and scream instead but you don't you work really hard and make the sacrifices you need. And because of these sacrifices, this is the work that you're doing. Because of these sacrifices, disconnecting from the heart in order to stay calm. Interesting. In order to be logical. That's what you're telling me. Because when we see this card, we have to refer back to the clarifiers on that card. And this was all about being your most logical self and turning your back on some of your emotions the ones that don't feel so good when you're upset or angry or emotional instead you work really hard and it's one of your sacrifices to remain in that king of cups energy which again it is your energy anyway it's your court card but you're working extra hard extra extra hard it's like um it's kind of like when you show up in a relationship and we show somebody our best selves we don't show them how we really feel we really feel like walking away from stuff sometimes we really feel like just setting a match to it <laughs> and walking away 
uh, or yelling or screaming or whatever it is that has caused whatever, whatever kind of conflict, but you're not showing that. You're showing your best self and you're working hard at it. All right. Wheel of Fortune, right at the heart of your reading. It just came up on the clarifiers, turning things in your favor. It does have more significance because it is right at the center of your reading. So let's pay extra attention here about turning the wheel in your favor. Show us the Wheel of Fortune, please. There it is. Knight of Cups expressing our emotions, delivering messages of love and whatever our emotions are. Ace of Wands, the opportunity to take bold action here. Takes courage. It's big, it's bold, it's a new opportunity for action to express our, ourselves. And the sun, the ultimate success, the ultimate bliss, the ultimate happiness. You're making some kind of bold move, expressing yourself here. You're telling somebody how you feel. You're telling somebody what you want. You're, you're being brave to do so, to tell somebody what you want, how you feel, and what will make you the absolute happiest. At the bottom here, the Princess of Pentacles. It shows us this is what you're investing in uh, at this point in time, currently. Whatever's going on. You are putting your best foot forward and you are also being brave to express your emotions, telling someone what you want, telling someone what would make you really, really happy. Nice. Okay. All right, let's move on. Ten of Pentacles, our treasure chest of manifestations. What about it, Spirit? What does Scorpio need to know, please? There it is, Princess of Pentacles. We just saw it on the bottom. Spirit just brought it to the top. Investing in our treasure chest. Two of Pentacles, keeping balance. Keeping, uh, keeping some sort of balance while you feel a sense of doubt here. You're not sure. There's a sense of, I'm not sure. Knight of Wands at the baseline right back here rushing in to take action we're referred to look at that look at that knight of wands clarifiers again to commitment is the fastest vehicle to victory to gain your stability to build your stability to build your legacy whatever it is that you want to manifest here that's really important to you you're investing in it, but you're unsure, two of pentacles. You're investing in it, but you have this sense of, I don't know, I'm not sure. It reminds me of this conflict, you're not sure. You know what you want, you're doing it. You're putting your best self forward, you're expressing yourself. Let's look at the bottom. Queen of Cups, third time we're seeing her on the bottom. Queen of Cups, our heart is wide open to this. We're taking action. We're in a hurry. We're investing in this. Even if we have doubts, we're going to go for it. That's what you're showing me. Even with doubt, you're just going for it. Whoever this person is that is on your heart, on your mind, you're just like, well, I'm going to open up my heart. I'm going to see what happens. Let's go for it. I'm all in. And not only am I all in, I'm in a little bit of a hurry. <laughs> okay. Let's go to the immediate future, the Queen of Pentacles. She's all about self-care, self-nurturing. Let's see what comes up with clarifiers for the Queen of Pentacles. Taking care of ourselves. I have a feeling this is how you, whoever this reading is for, this is how you view taking care of yourself by being in a relationship where someone else takes care of you so you can worry about other things like being the empress that you are. Show us the Queen of Pentacles, please. There it is. Ooh, we have a wounded warrior here. You're kind of tired. You're tired of nurturing yourself. You want somebody else to nurture you? Let's see. Yeah, Ten of Cups. That's what you want. 
That's what you want. Ten of Cups. The commitment, the family, the happiness, the blessings on the homestead, the whole nine yards. And there she is. She was on the bottom like three different times. Now Spirit just brought her out. Queen of Cups. This is what my heart is open to. I may be tired and exhausted from the battles of the past. I may be wounded from the previous energies that I've had to deal with when it comes to relationship energies that I want to build my life with. But this is what I'm going for. This is how I nurture myself. My heart is open. Queen of Cups to Ten of Cups. Happy family, happy home. That's what I want. That would make me feel that I'm taking care of myself when I'm taking care of my happy home. But you are tired. You are exhausted. You've been doing this for a while, it looks like. Let's look at the bottom. Justice could be a card of marriage. Uh, I'm sure you wouldn't mind with all these cards that have shown up so far, but this is about the desire to make things right, to bring in the balance in your life, uh, the stability in your life, the balance. You want family. That's what you're saying. Your heart is open to having a happy home, happy family, happy homestead, commitment, but it has to be with the right person, somebody stable somebody very very stable and a good manager of things you know of course you know that's what you're going for okay it's just what the cards are saying let's take a look at the chariot here the vehicle to victory it's the fastest vehicle in the tarot how do we get there how do we get to our goals as quickly as possible show us the chariot what does Scorpio need to know about this chariot please in the immediate future the chariot Here it is. Look at it. Ten of Pentacles. Right there. Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, the artwork's a little different. It means the same exact thing. The vehicle to victory, to have everything you want. Ah. Uh, this is an ending. A painful ending. And then a rebuilding of stability from the ground up. Well, this may show that you have to, when it comes to everything you want, you are, it's like saying the fastest way to get there is to end something so that you can build something else, so you can start over from the ground up. That's the fastest way to do it, to end something so that you can start over a new it's a new opportunity at building stability all right and at the bottom six of pentacles we're here because again we want balance equanimity stability balance fairness equality equanimity and uh, getting everyone on the same page having having each person on the same page all right Whew. yeah something's gonna have to end I don't know what it is so you can start over one thing has to end so something else can begin and it really is a whole new beginning to build from the ground up all right Let's take a look at it. The Empress. Show us the Empress, please. Show us the Empress in all her glory, in Scorpio feeling like their best self. Look at that. Six of Wands. Victory. Reaching the goal. Celebrating the success of reaching the goal. We have Judgment. And temperance judgment is being called to our highest self to respond or behave in a way that we wouldn't ordinarily because we're responding we're connecting to our highest selves our soul level selves judgment you're being called to make a decision from there for victory uh, and it's going to take time it's going to take patience temperance 
the angel of balance and healing for this situation. Balance and healing over time. Make the decision for the balance and healing over time. Victory says, I think not to rush this. Underlying energy, look at that. It's the overall energy of your entire reading, the Nine of Swords. You're stressed about this. You already know you're being called to your higher self to bring balance and healing to a situation in order to feel like the empress that you are. Maybe spirit is saying, find it on your own. Your balance first, and then you'll attract the other party that brings what you already are. We attract what we are, right? So it could be saying that. That's the first thing that comes to mind, guys. For reaching your Empress goals, you're being called to your highest self to have patience for the balance and healing that is necessary for this Empress energy. But you're stressed about it. You don't like it. You're like, I don't want to wait. Everything else says hurry up. Temperance says patience and time. And your decisions need to come from your soul level self wow that's intense okay let's get some advice to close off the reading and then we'll pull an oracle card spirit what advice do you have for this Scorpio who knows what they want they would rather find somebody who could fill a certain role so that they could focus on the part of themselves that feels really good instead of having to bear all the responsibility of securing their own security themselves what advice do you have for this person please or these people who feel this way or who are focusing on this at this time in their life all right we have the king of swords the six of wands which we just saw right there King of Swords, logical, masterful decisions for victory. The Eight of Wands, energy exchange, healing communication, healing energy exchange, which sounds like temperance over here, the healing energy exchange. Let's look at the bottom. Choices, Seven of Cups. The masterful, logical decision for victory is having a healing energy exchange as part of your choices. That's how I read that. Let's get an oracle card, please. Spirit, what message do you have for the Scorpios that are going through these energies from Wisdom of the Oracle? Wisdom of the Oracle, please, for Scorpio. Not just any Scorpio, the Scorpios that are going through these energies of focusing on finding what they want that's in a little bit of a conflict with their thought process here. While they're in the middle of this journey, hearts wide open, feeling hopeful. Community, card number eight. And let's see what your message says. Here it is. Essential meanings, belonging, being seen and understood by others, like-minded connections, a sense of family and friendship, knowing your place in the world. That makes sense. From the Oracle's message, it says, this card signals a new affiliation with a group. Humans are social creatures, and we need to know we are useful to our families and communities. In a community, everyone has an important function and feels, I matter. Membership in the group provides a sense of belonging, of kinship, and of purpose that comes from working together for the greater fulfillment of all. That does feel like what you're interested in here. You want to have a family to take care of. Uh, let's see here. We have... 
Perhaps you are part of a spiritual community or an artistic one. Perhaps you are in a learning community where you share your love of education. Regardless of its form or focus, your community brings you joy. You will be inspired by it and want to contribute to it. Your contribution may be as small as showing up or as large as becoming its leader. No matter your position in the group, your presence is needed. And for a relationship message, it says, you are discovering the essential qualities that you share with another, and perhaps also those that you don't share. There are times when you follow and the other person leads, and times where you lead and the other follows. The appearance of this card points to the importance of learning the proper dance between you and another accepting the truth that everyone has flaws is part of that dance yet you're also being asked to be aware of the dynamics that you don't want to repeat you are in the perfect place to make changes in order to experience the best version of who you can be together yeah the empress and the emperor uh, this feels very in line with your reading today and thank you, Spirit, for always moving the cards just so. I hope this helps, Scorpio, uh, in validating your experience at this time and helping you to be a little bit more patient with yourself and the other person in the situation as you go for what you want. Absolutely. Bravo. Thank you guys so much for being here. Please like and share and subscribe and comment and anything of the like to help support the channel. I really would like to build this to be able to give live readings for you guys uh, to take your real-time questions and, uh, and commune with you guys that way. So um, with that, I look forward to reading for you next time and uh, take care.